Well, I used to be a member of that church, and I wouldn't have touched them with a six-foot pole anymore. All right, so I don't say anything more. If I ever see her again, I don't even mention it. But sometimes I honestly believe that your actions say more than words do. And if yeah. uh, mm. people are watching you. That's right. Absolutely. And, right. Uh, yeah. Especially when you perform like so much as a Christian. Man. And I think yeah, all watch that. <laughs> time trying to pound these things into people's head, I think sometimes you turn them off. They think you're a kind of a crackpot or something. Yeah. Where if you can go at it a little quieter and you find somebody that really wants to talk about it and you can talk with them sincerely, like on a bus or something like that, I've done that before, um, it seems to maybe do some good, but uh, you can't talk to somebody who obviously doesn't want to hear you. And you're just, mm -hmm. you're just mm -hmm. hoping that you have told them the word. Now it's up to the Lord to do something. That's right. Whether mm -hmm. well, they turn you yeah. in, you're right. It's funny sometimes how it works, too, because like Wednesday, um, I went down to the Social Security Administration office with her and her. We were going to bring her brother down to get his Social Security card. And I was having a rough time that day. I just got off the phone with my mother. And uh, it, it was a birthday, and I was dabbling with, like, oh, you know what I mean? Let's just go to the Salvation Army. And, and like, dabbling back and forth. And I, I went outside, and I, I, um, I went into prayer for a little bit, you know, like, you know, Lord, just, like, straighten my heart out, clear my mind, you know, let me put my words in your hand. I know you open the door for me. And it's funny, because as soon as I walked back in the cell, um, into the Social Security office, um, my head is like, come here. <laughs> so I go over there, she's sitting. There's three guys sitting down there having basically a Bible study in the Social Security so I sit down, we start talking about King David, and we start going on, and next thing you know, there's five of us in there praying for the guy going to the Social Security, so it's like, and then it cleared my mind, it took all my ears yeah, up, because for that. the two hours that I was there, we basically were talking about, you know, the Word of God, Amen. and we started praying on this, and they prayed on my situation, and just, and it felt so, it's, you know what I mean? That's awesome. But, as we're sitting there, I mean, Social Security offices are always packed, so, and there's other people just listening in on the conversation, simple stuff like that, you know what I mean, like... It was about 20, 30 other people, and they're just like, the way we were talking, they're just like all paying attention and listening. So, even stuff like that, you can set seeds in people's eyes. You know what I mean? like, Absolutely. And they start listening, and like, wow, you know, it, it plants yeah, the seed, agreed. you know? Yeah. And I think uh, the first thing that I do is when I witness to people is I tell them what God has delivered me from. Mm -hmm. You know, because everybody has a hurt, everybody has a hang up, everybody has something going on in their life that, you know, they don't know what to do because they don't. You know, they don't understand that there's a God that can free them from that. But if you go there, like, yeah, you know, I've been clean and sober for three years. I haven't touched a drink or a drug. You know, I had cancer. Mm -hmm. I don't have it no more. Uh, I'm very happy. I have peace. And then people go, well, how did you get that? Well, I said, you know, Jesus gave that to me. But he can also give it to you. You know, you just got to open up your heart and surrender. So, you know, just give everything to him. Yeah. And, and let them know it's, you, the next day you wake up, you're still going to have that stuff. But, you know, the more you draw into him, the more it's going to go away. Right. Instead of just going right out there and, you know, <coughs> quoting scripture to him. Because that, that scares a lot of people. No, it does. It, it scares me right. like sharing, sharing, what yeah. you've been, sharing what you've been through. Mm -hmm. Sharing the things that you've gone through in life. Yeah. The struggles, the drugs, the alcohol, yeah. and then sharing that with them because then it can relate to you more. Then it, yeah, you, you have go, them open. Oh, wow, really? You went, right, you went yeah. through all that in life, and then like now, and then you can you can you know what I mean? Because some people are like, well, oh, well, you know, what have you been a Christian the whole life or going to But if you explain to them the struggles that you've been through, you know, yeah, you know, this is was my childhood. This was, and you know what? It's all been taken away because I've been saved by Christ, and Christ gives that to me. Yeah. Then a lot of people understand that yeah, easier, yeah. other than just getting out there and like you're right, like going. Wow, Jesus, wow, Jesus saved, saved yeah. Jesus saved, Jesus saved. I was down in Dudley Square two weeks ago to see the mother of my kids, and there's a guy on the megaphone just quoting yeah. scripture in the middle of Dudley Square. Because I'm that, like, everybody's just listening to him, they're just walking away. I'm like, start approaching all these yeah. all these other people and like telling them about your, your you know what I mean, your, your testimony. Experience. Give them your testimony, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, testimony. your testimony. It's, because that's, that's what it did it to me. When I first got around, you know, I was brought to go to celebrate recovery at our church. Right. You know, I've had experiences with... Christian things, the Salvation Army, but, you know, it says to love one another, but they throw you out, 
but still in a T-shirt. Oh you know, yeah, you know, <laughs> growing Twice. up myself. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you kind of got this eye on this cute girl, and da 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 da. Oh you yeah, yeah, we have Pen. <laughs> yeah, big Pen. Yeah, big butterfly or something. You know? big butterfly. <laughs> it's a big brawly man wearing a butterfly because I was right. talking to some girl. How you doing? Here, here's a butterfly. Yeah. You know, and but that's what drew me in was at CR. I saw people, <coughs> their lives be transformed. You know, like guy come up to me, his name was Mike, how you doing, da da da, all right, you know, I saw peace in him, and then I heard somebody's testimony that they were from jail, you know, they struggle with alcohol and drugs, and this is what they've been delivering them from, they still struggle, but it's okay with them, and they don't have to pick up that drink or a drug, you know, mm -hmm. and with him, and the more transformation I saw in everybody's life, and all these people are happy. And I was like, whoa, I, I need that. Thing I, I want that. I've been it. Like, that's, I, yeah. I'm not knocking it. Like, but, like, when you go to, like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, they tell you There's that. a lot of miserable people that say, yeah. yeah, I've been sober for 20 years and I hated my life today. And it's like, well, you go to church <laughs> and people have the yeah. same home, but yeah. you can see the happiness. I mean, not, it's not every day is like rainbows and puppies and kittens, yeah. but there's still no, <laughs> no. But, but listen, there's there's Skittles. still there's still a have there's a peace there's, there's a peace, peace, peace with because of joy yeah. yeah exactly yeah you know what I mean because I didn't it's, see that peace and joy in AA and NA no, absolutely and I was in it in and out for thirteen years and you know and they try to say okay find a higher power use a lamp. Yeah, exactly. My lamp's gonna blow out. What do I do then? <laughs> Jesus ain't gonna blow out of my life when I need him. Right. You know, or hey, worship the bounty. You know, it's go yeah. pick a picker up. Or I've had those debates thing. before too. Yeah. Like people come in and they're like, "Well, listen, if that roll of toilet paper is what is what keeps you sober, then there's nothing wrong with that." It's like, no, there yeah. is something wrong with that because yeah. if you're praying to a to a royal toilet paper. To save your life, you're in no, trouble. Big yeah. trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Then they tell you willpower, willpower. And my thing is, try to stop diarrhea with willpower. The thing you gotta remember about AA is, yeah. 